What we all want in life is a shot. But what we do with it, that's the story we all want to tell. You know, I've coached for 25 years and I've never experienced that, uh, you know, the emotional high of, of what happened. What happened for Jason McElwain, or JMAC as his friends call him, is about more than a shot. Diagnosed with autism at two years old, now identified as highly functioning, he's never considered himself different or separate, especially when it comes to sports. Sports has always been, how could I say, his equalizer. He's like, just like any of the other kids out there. It's, it's not a really a big deal at all. I'm just, I'm just normal like other people. That's the way I am. At five foot six, J Mac didn't make the junior varsity basketball team at his high school, Greece Athena, near Rochester, New York. Instead, he became team manager, a role he now has for the varsity as a senior. In the last three years, in his white shirt and black tie, he's missed only one game. We want to practice, uh, set up the clock, and get the water in games and be enthusiastic. <laughs> As this season was wrapping up, Coach Johnson approached Jason with an idea about the Trojans' final home game of the season. I said, you know, I'm really going to look to try to get you in the game, but remember, I can't promise you that. And he goes, okay, Coach. February 15th, Greece Athena against Spencerport, senior night. With word out that Jason might play, the student section printed signs of J-Mac's face, just in case. And with 4.19 left in the game, with the Trojans up by 20, coach called down to the end of the bench for number 52. I just kind of turned and pointed him, and uh, he almost ran right on the court. He was so excited. Hey, Jay, you got to check in. So he hits the buzzer, and he doesn't go anywhere. Like now you go on the court, you know. He was so he was so caught up in the moment. He came into the game. They all stood up and they put the signs, uh, you know, the pictures of him up, and I got really emotional. And I sat down and started to cry. With 3:46 left, Jason got the ball. When he missed that first three, I was like, oh, and then it air ball, and I was like, man. I really just want to see him score one time. I put my head in my hands like, dear God, please, let's just get him a basket. Then, with 312 left, another chance. That third trip down the court. Magic. As soon as I started hitting my first shot, I just kept shooting, and I was as hot as a pistol. Shot after shot after shot kept going in. The basket was like a big old juice bucket, and uh, I was shooting like they were free throws. This is a big old juice bucket that's like huge. And I was like, Oh my God! Is this really happening? He has more than more points than me, so he's got bragging rights over me. He was unstoppable for that moment in time. He was unstoppable. He comes down the court right at the end with like three seconds left, and he hits this one that's, you know, probably like an NBA three. As soon as the gun ended, they stormed the court. You know? I couldn't, you know, I just couldn't dream anything like that. It felt like we won a championship. Everyone was just so happy for me. In that four minutes, 19 seconds, Jason was seven for 13, six of 10 from three-point range, 20 points in all. In his first and only varsity basketball game, J-Mac was the high scorer. Truly the most incredible moment I've ever had in coaching. I was so touched, and um, it, it was just so special to me that a young man, his dream came true, you know. And that I could help that was awesome. What we all want in life is a shot. J Mac took his. And now it's a story we can all tell. <laughs>